CompuBox Academy. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. Time for our tale of the tape. Here, the Bronze Bomber, fighting out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the former heavyweight champion of the world. He is the... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, an Olympic bronze... And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. Todd, I love this. Great to have you with us for this all-action affair. We expect big things, and I don't think we're going to be disappointed. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice counter shot. And he misses with that jab. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers just want to mull you down. They want to walk straight through as though you do not exist. You've got to be fit for this one. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Great counter right hand there. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. On the right, no rest for the weary. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Nice exchange here from both men. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. is down big time on the score. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. Here we go, round two. Who's gonna land the first big shot? When someone punches that hard, you don't wanna trade shots. Steps back for just a moment. Good counter right hand again. He got out of the way that right hook. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Changes from both men in this round. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. He blocks that jab.
this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. You're being put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Oh, what a punch! Nice exchange here from both men. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He threw the hook, didn't land. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Not a lot of defense here at all. And he fails to score with that left hook. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And there's the bell to start round four. Both men step back for just a moment. Blocks the right hook. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent Power gets into the rhythm. The fight is over. That hook won't score. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Relax, relax. Don't go on to the more round. Never say you're 
took a big deep breath. Banging down, he's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt, he's ready to go. into the fray here in round five. Nice exchange here from both men. Good left hand. man really defending themselves. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in the fight. You've got to relax. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. for just a moment. Swing and a miss with the hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Here we go in the sixth round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Whiff with the right hook. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard, it's an uphill battle. Just missed with that hook. A swing and a miss with the left hook. one go to the judges. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up. And there's the bell for round seven.
batter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations, and they throw them nonstop. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with just hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Been step back for just a moment. Neither fighter willing to slow down. They both want a highlight reel knockout. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now we've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Punch. That's a scoring left hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously hope the judges kept their line. And they're back at it again here in round eight. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think of You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little favorite and pickpocket them. You miss with that jab. Defense is not an option for these two. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Oh, Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. a second to catch our breath. Insane action. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That was almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. So they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy, and they keep the same kind of pace. And there's the bell for round nine. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw, it's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you pick and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Both men step back for just a moment.
so far, the offense has been better than the defense. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations, and they throw them nonstop. I've never seen a fight just so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope. You've got to hope they went out of steam. That left hook misses. Punch lands. Why aren't they defending? Very close round with 10 seconds to go. How much cardio was put in for this fight? It may come down to that. That's what we talk about. There's the bell to start round 10. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating. When you're in such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. We get it heated back up. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. We'll see how much endurance these two fighters have. There's a lot on the line here. Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. This is when you get in the ring feeling like your ting tong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. exchanges from both men in this round. That right hook won't score. Big hook. Good thing it didn't land. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. 
They're confident. They know they just have the quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. these two fighters gassing out as this fight goes on. You cannot gas out if you prepared right, slept right, ate right, and did everything. And there's the bell to start round 12. Both men step back for just a moment. Blocks that right hook. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. He's got to get out of there. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That left hook missed. Time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't, he didn't, he didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I didn't mean out, out. 